This is tutorial number 70, and it covers how to use the mirror body feature within Katia V5. To start off, open up tutorial part number 67, which is located on the DVD. Now again, this is the same as the mirror sketch feature that we used before, except that we're going to be doing this in a 3D space. So we're going to be mirroring an entire body rather than just the sketch. So to do this, the tool is found if you click Insert, click Transformation, and click Mirror. Now this tool works pretty much the same as the symmetry tool in respect that it's going to make the symmetrically opposite, except that you're going to keep the original along with the symmetrically opposite part. With the uh, symmetry feature in the body, we were able to use axis lines. In this case though, for the mirror, we have to use either faces or uh, planes to do the mirroring. So in this tutorial, we're just going to keep the planes that we have right now. and uh, we're going to do a bit of mirroring and then we're going to extract a few planes and then do a bit more mirroring. So to, what we're going to do first is we're actually going to mirror off of a face. So we're going to mirror off of this face here. So let's click Insert, Transformation, click Mirror. It's not going to give you any dialog box, so you just have to pick what you want. It's not really going to show up. For some reason, I don't understand why, because every other uh, Katia tool comes up with the box first. For this one, for some reason, you have to select a part, then the box comes up when it's kind of too late. So it kind of doesn't make sense to me, but that's just how this tool works. So we're going to click this flat face here, and now the toolbox comes up, like I said. So it's kind of weird how it comes up now when it's kind of too late. Now click OK, and we've mirrored that part. Now let's do it along a plane. So let's click Insert click Transformation, click Mirror, click the YZ plane, and again you can see the preview, we like it, click OK, and now we've mirrored it. So that's how to use the Mirror tool, and what I'm going to do now is we're just going to extract a few uh, reference planes. I'm going to pull one out here and mirror another one. So let's go to the Shape and Generative Shape Design. Let's click this plane here, click the plane tool, and let's offset it 500. So now we have another plane over there. So let's go back to the part design, so mechanical design, part design, click insert, and let's use the mirror tool again. And we're going to use it on this face here, or sorry, this plane, and we're able to mirror it over there. So let's click OK, and we've got another mirror there. So again, this tool, if you're making left-hand side components, right-hand side, uh, top, down, whatever it may be, it allows you to make one component and then multiply and move it around to uh, get all the other positions that you need. So it's a real time saver in the case that to make, say, four or five different uh, components or configurations, all you need to do is make one starting component and the rest you can just mirror right off of that. And that concludes our tutorial on how to use the mirror body feature within Katia V5.